Is OMDS making a full-frame camera? There's been rumors about that. My thoughts coming up. Hi there, my name is Peter Forsgaard and I'm a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And before we start talking about the possible full-frame camera from OMDS, I want to make it really clear that all these uh, things that I'm going to say on this video are my own thoughts based on information that can be found online. I do not have any inside information about the whole thing. The reason I'm making this is that I want to uh, keep you informed of the things that are going around OMDS and Olympus. And I have had a habit of making these kind of videos once a month or if there is any significant news about the future of Olympus cameras inside OMDS. And in this video, when I talk about so-called full frame, I will be now on using 35 millimeter because that's actually the best uh, description of a full frame camera. It's one of those funny words, full frame, that has been introduced during digital era and don't know why, because medium format cameras are still here and they are bigger. They, their sensor is bigger than full frame. So why on earth are we calling a smaller sensor full frame? So I will be using 35 millimeter, which is the better way of describing a certain type or size camera. This rumor about Olympus making a 35 millimeter camera and joining L mount came up in CP plus DC life, a Japanese blog about photo industry had a blog post about it. They had three reasons why this actually could be a possibility. The first thing is that during CP plus the L mount Alliance said that there are going to be new members joining L mount Alliance soon. Second thing was that now that Olympus is made by OMDS, they are kind of free from the old Olympus company that had uh, kind of dedicated to micro four thirds and they are free from that now. And then the third one is that Mr. Kataoka said in CP plus that there will be a Olympus camera that will have a wow effect and that will be launched early next year. Based on these three facts, there has been a rumor that it is, it will be Olympus that is joining L mount, but let's dive into these three facts. And then I will say my personal opinions about what would I think if Olympus made a 35 millimeter camera. But let's talk about the first uh, fact that what uh, L mount Alliance said in CP plus. And that is true. They said that, and it will be interesting to see what the company would be. Of course it can be OMDS, but there will be some other things that might say a different thing in, in, in the other two uh, facts that has been uh, brought up. But what other companies there are that could be the ones that are joining or will be joining L mount. The only thing or, or the only company that I come come up with is DGI because they own uh, not uh, totally, but big part of Hasselblad, the old and very prestige Swedish uh, camera manufacturer Hasselblad. So they would have the knowledge and it would be interesting to see if, if DJI is entering the, the mirrorless camera market because uh, I predicted that DJI is the next company that might make a 35 millimeter camera or micro four third camera because they are part of that alliance too. And as they already have a camera company in their, you know, portfolio, that could be true. And maybe it is so that they are making a, a joint camera with uh, with uh, DJI and Hasselblad so that there will be a uh, the same camera with, with, with small differences. The other one is called Hasselblad and of course it most likely will be more expensive. And then there will be a DJI camera that would be a bit uh, cheaper version. It's the same thing with Leica and Panasonic. They have, at least they used to have same cameras with, with a bit different, uh, uh, you know, a branding and a bit different uh, features. And of course the Leica camera with the red dot was a lot more expensive but it was particular or it was uh, practically the same camera as the, the, the Panasonic version. So this could be a possibility that it's DJI and Hasselblad that's are doing this. But as I said, I don't know. I don't really 
could come up with any other companies. I don't believe it's going to be a Ricoh slash Pentax because they are kind of dedicated, like Pentax has said, that they're dedicated to DSLRs, which is sounds very funny. Even though Pentax cameras are really innovative and really, really good cameras, but it's I think it's a wrong decision to, to do only DSLRs. But we never know, but I don't think it will. And are there any other companies that will rise up or be new camera companies? I doubt that because the market isn't at its best right now. But we, we never know. There was this Chinese company called, uh, it was, it's spelled like Y, uh, I, I think it was. And they made, I think in 2017, they had a camera, a micro four thirds camera. I remember seeing that camera in, in uh, Photokina 2018. And they said, the CEO was present and he said that he will conquer the whole micro four thirds market, but they haven't, at least not yet. But we never know what's going to happen. So there is a possibility that Olympus is joining L Mount Alliance. But as I said, it's not a fact. It's just a rumor based on what has been said in CP+. But as I said, there will be some uh, other thoughts that will work against this. So let's go to the next one. OMDS is free from the old philosophy that Olympus company had by dedicating all of its stuff to Micro Four Thirds. And actually, the Mr. Kataoka from OMDS said in, in CP Plus in his presentation that Olympus will be dedicated to MFT. Or they will put everything in M uh, the MFT. But did he say exactly that? It can be also interpreted that they are dedicated to Micro Four Thirds, but he never said that they are not doing any other mount camera. So it is a possibility, even though I think that they are not. But I will get back to that when I talk about my own thoughts. And then the third fact that Mr. Kataoka said in CP Plus that Olympus is launching or OMDS is launching a camera early next year, maybe late this year, that has a woe factor. What that woe factor would be, okay, I admit if it is a L-mount camera, I would say whoa, but it doesn't mean that uh, I hope they will because woe factor can be something else. Most likely, and I want to say again that uh, this is not a fact, it's only my uh, speculation that the, the next camera will be M1X Mark II with some special features that we have not seen before in any camera. Because Kataoka also said that uh, OMDS is dedicated continuing the Olympus legacy, making things in their cameras or features that will make us able or will able us to do photographs that has not been possible before. So that could be some feature in that uh, new camera, the maybe the flagship camera, which most likely is the, the X Mark II, that has some kind of a feature that's not in any other camera and, and will make us possible to do images that we haven't done before. That's what Kataoka said, that there will be some something like that. Maybe it is the woe factor, but we don't know. And then what about my thoughts? I am at the moment dedicated to Micro Four Thirds. I like the system and there is a video about that when I switched and why I switched. So I had had the policy of owning everything that's crucial for my business, even though I had as a visionary access to Olympus gear, I could borrow anything they had if I needed one or it needed anything. And of course I had some, some extra gl uh, glass that I don't really use that often, but I made videos about those and, and used them every now and then just because I could. But I own everything that is crucial for my business because that's the best business practice. Why would I rely on uh, stuff that is not mine? If let's say my contract ended like it did, I sent everything back except I got uh, the EM1 Mark III back. And would I get a 35 millimeter Olympus camera with L mount. I don't know. I wouldn't get it because of the bigger sensor. I would get it if it had features that I actually need in my work. And that would be probably the, the, the only reason. I wouldn't get it if it was the same camera or, or the same features with, with EM1 Mark III and a bigger sensor. Probably not. I wouldn't get it. It would be bigger and bulkier. I wouldn't get it. But if it had some really good features, let's say like better, really, really, really better videos, video qualities or something that I need 
in uh, some feature in photography that I really need, but I can't really think of what it could be. And uh, of course, I would test it and make videos about it because it, of course, it would be interesting. But uh, most likely, as I said, I wouldn't get it just for the bigger sensor. And then if you speculate that Olympus will join L-mount, would L-mount be the right choice for Olympus? And yes, I think that would be a good choice because L-mount already has quite nice range of different lenses, good quality glass on the high end and the low end price points too. There are Sigma lenses, Panasonic lenses and Leica lenses. So that would be good. So you would not have to have L Zuiko lenses on day one. Of course, that in, in the future would be great if they started making their own L Zuiko lenses if they join L mount. But I think L mount would be the right choice if they are joining the 35 millimeter bandwagon. And then do I think that Olympus is uh, joining L mount Alliance? To be honest, no, I don't think so. Those who have been watching my channel know that I've been wrong before, so I, I can't really say for sure. But uh, to be honest, I don't think they will. I think they are dedicated to Micro Four Thirds, and I think it's a good thing. It's it's a good system for many. It's it's small and light, and you know all this if if you use Olympus cameras. It's a great piece of tool to get get your vision out there in in form of photographs. Here are some more videos about my speculations and facts about the industry in this playlist. You might want to watch that if you're interested in. Most of you have probably seen those, but those who haven't, go check that playlist out. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.